Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're going to test out the Big Cheese Mousetrap. These are snap traps that already include bait on the pedal. We don't have to add peanut butter or cheese on the trigger. They come with their own special formula. It says fresh and tasty, ready baited, catches more mice. We're going to have to test it out and see if our mice like their bait. Now here in the US, I haven't seen these traps for sale. And that's because they're a brand out of the UK. I bought these traps on Amazon and a six pack costs $10.67. That seems like a pretty good deal for six traps. Let's take these out of the package and see how they work. There's a little tab right here on top. Rip and dump. The base of the trap's made out of wood, but it has a plastic wrapping with all the graphics. The lever in here is tied down with a zip tie. We'll cut that off. What a good looking trap. On the pedal is the bait with a bait cover. We'll pull that off. Ooh, look at that. It's nice and dark. I'm going to see what it smells like. It kind of smells like mashed up prunes or a fruit roll up. Now right here is the spring. This should be very powerful. To set it, we pull back the lever, lift up the kill bar, wrap that over and hook up the front to the bait pedal right here. You want to be careful not to smash your fingers. The idea is the mouse will smell the bait. That's unresistible. They'll come along, put their feet on the pedal and you got them. That has quite a bit of force. Ooh -wee. Now I'm curious how well these big cheese, fresh and tasty mouse traps work. Let's go set them up in the chicken coop with motion cameras and see if we can get some mice to take the special bait. Today I finally caught a mouse with the Big Cheese mouse trap. To remove it, you lift up the kill bar and give a little flip. Over the past several nights, I set up traps at different locations and I ran into a few problems. The first is mice weren't too interested in the bait. They would come along, smell the bait, but didn't go for it. They go around the trap. Even the baby rats didn't want it. The second problem I ran into is the pedal stuck. Several times the mice would come along, step on the pedal, but the trap wouldn't go off. Now the mouse we finally did catch didn't go for the bait. It jumped off the board and landed in the wrong spot, right on the pad. But the trap was fast enough to get it. So after my test, I ran into too many problems to recommend this trap. But it is very colorful. Now I don't want the mouse we caught in the trap to go to waste. I'm going to go set it up outside to feed to wild animals. 
Let's see what comes along and has a mouse snack. I'm always amazed how quickly a turkey vulture can find such a small meal. Their sense of smell is incredible. But what's not incredible is this trap. It deserves to get a little flip in the garbage. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider clicking the button right there. I've posted over 500 videos on YouTube, and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. So if you want to see how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, folds, and gophers, stay tuned.